Hello all and uh, welcome to the next unboxing video that we kind of have here. Um, today we're going to be taking a look at a couple of different elites. We have a Top Picks, I believe it's Top Picks 2020, um, Drew McIntyre, and a WWE Elite 82, Jared the King Lawler. Um, I didn't have that first King that came out that was... Uh, Based on his Memphis run. I wish I did. That's a great figure. But I'm cool with this one. Um, and I didn't have Drew McIntyre yet. Because that first one that came out after he came back. Uh, was the NXT TakeOver Target exclusive one. Which was hard to find. And then his second figure that came out. That one when he was uh, debuted on Raw. That one became really hard to find too. And I never found it. So um, glad I was able to. They eventually kind of re-released it with this one. A little bit deco difference. But still. Uh, I'm glad I eventually got a Jerry Lawler. So um, we'll go ahead and kick this one off with the uh, Drew McIntyre. We'll save uh, the legend of Jerry Lawler there uh, for last. Um, so yeah, we have Drew McIntyre. Um, at the time of this recording, he is the current uh, WWE champion. Um, kind of an up and down career. Came in, uh, you know, in developmental and everything. Got called to the main roster, was deemed the chosen one by Vince McMahon and all that stuff, but then never really did a lot. I think he was Intercontinental Champ. Um, he joined 3MB, kind of got jobbed out, and eventually left. Um, or got fired, either way you want to look at it. Went on the independent scene, went on a tear, got into crazy good shape, came back, and just like dominated. A uh, little bit of a, um, especially in NXT, and I remember he got hurt, but... Um, then he went to the main roster. It was a bit of a stutter start, but once they really picked up with telling the story of him uh, going after Brock Lesnar, I think it kicked off really well. And, you know, it may not have been the way they wanted to, but in time he kind of did become the chosen one when you really think about it. So it's a, it's a cool story to kind of have that play out over time. Um, I like Drew. I think he's a great worker. He's big. He's built like a damn superhero. Um and it just, he, he fits, um, kind of like the prototype of, if you looked at a guy that's a star and a champion, I mean, he looks a lot like Drew McIntyre probably. Um, so I like Drew. I think he's good. I think he's a good talker, great worker for his size. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and crack this open and kind of just go what we got on the side. we got the picture on the back. We got his little bi uh, bio. If you want to read it. Um, I did not get any of the other top picks in this set. Um, I believe the Bray Wyatt was just a re-release of the Summer fan, uh, SummerSlam figure, which I already had. Um, so we have that, and then there he is on the side there. Uh, so let's get... Okay, so again, like every WWE Elite these days, we got uh, Interchangeable Hands. Uh, he comes with open hands, uh, like kind of like an open slap hand in the package. And then he's got these mic holding hands for alternate hands. Oh, uh, we got his coat. Um, his little kind of sleeveless trench coat thing he wears. We've got an alternate head. Um, these alternate heads with like the hair in the face, I'm not the biggest fan of. Just because the hair doesn't look realistic. Like... When his hair is covering his face, it does not look like that. You know, you can barely, you don't see his eyes. I mean, they're there. You move them, they're there. Um, but you don't see the eyes. You don't see, like, anything. It just, it's too thick. It looks too thick and plasticky. Um, the Bret Hart's always suffer from that problem, too, when they give him an alternate head that has the hair in front of the face. Um, let's get to Drew himself. And here we go. Big and jacked up. Jesus Christ. Um, I, he looks great. I like this figure. It's, um, in a lot of ways, it's a re-release of the Drew that came out, um, a while back. It was one of the elite, um, I want to say in the 50s or 60s waves. Um, but it was one of those, and pretty much the same head sculpt too. I got a little bit of smudge on mine here. Yeah, no big deal. Um, same head sculpt. I think that one even came with this alternate head too. Um, the jacket might be a little bit different from that figure. Uh, could be wrong. Uh, probably the same one actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Either way, I like that figure. I just never found it. I think the deco on his, uh, tights, um, and then on the back there, it's got McIntyre. 
I think that might be the only difference is this might be a bit of a repaint on the deco. Everything else I'm pretty sure is the exact same figure. Um, he's got the jacked up torso mold, the abs, he's got the bigger arms, he's got the, uh, like the defined legs, the shorter wrestling boots. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a, it's just a pretty accurate representation of Drew McIntyre. It's good. Um, I'm glad I got it. I needed a Drew McIntyre. I like Drew now. Um, so, you know, it's cool to finally have one when I didn't get the first one. Um, but yeah, I, it, it's a, it's a pretty solid figure. Um, it's a Drew McIntyre. That's that's what I can kind of say. I have um, I know uh, some of his newer figures that are coming out after this one are going to have a different head. Um, I'm interested to see what those look like. Um, maybe pick one of those up, do a fig swap if it's a little bit better. Um, I do like the head. Don't get me wrong. It's pretty good. I don't think it's perfect, though. Um, so it would be nice to have that. And I'm not going to use this at all, ever. Um, I mean... From a distance, it almost looks like Undertaker. I, I I don't know. You could use this head probably for anything else except Drew McIntyre. Um, uh, but I like it. I do. I like this figure. Um, you know, plop this jacket on him. Give him the WWE Championship. And there you go. You got a cool looking Drew McIntyre. It'd be cool if he got one with the kilt. Um, that he comes out with this champion and the sword. That'd be kind of cool. Um, those would be cool accessories to kind of have. But, uh, yeah, that's Drew. And, um... Uh, just a good representation. Big, jacked up, tall. There you go. Um, so now we can kind of move on to our uh, Jerry Lawler here. Um, like I said, I didn't get like his Memphis run one that they released a while back. Um, this is more of his mid-90s WWF run when he's like feuding with Bret Hart. Um, as a matter of fact, this might be like, uh, like what, is it the King of the Ring or SummerSlam where he wrestled Bret Hart? Um, either way, it's one of those. Um, but yeah, we got King here. There he is on the side. We got his little bio there on the back if you want to read it. Um, from this set, I didn't pick up anybody except him either. I was going to get this Keith Lee and I ended up passing on it. Um, just because I feel like we're going to get better Keith Lees later. That Keith Lee is great. Don't get me wrong. That's a great Keith Lee. I just feel like over time, we're going to get more Keith Lees with different color schemes that are probably going to be better. That Balor was pretty cool, too. Ended up not getting it, though. I have plenty of Balors, to be honest. I could customize one if I want him to look more modern. Um, was going to get Morrison. Couldn't find it. Uh, for whatever reason, just couldn't find him. Um, and then, I, I yeah, that exists. Um, uh, that's all I'm going to say there. But, uh... So the only one I ended up getting out of the set was Jerry Lawler. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and crack open the King. Uh, it's funny how, you know, a lot of modern wrestling fans don't really know the importance of Jerry Lawler. Just how massive he was in Memphis and Tennessee. Um, he ran that damn city as a wrestler. Uh, the Andy Kaufman stuff, all that jazz. And so, you know, most modern fans just kind of know him as this announcer who was kind of a wrestler back in the day in the WWE. Um, we've got a couple of little plastic ties here. Let me try to get those cut out. this he's really um kind of loose here in a good way though okay let's kind of get him all straightened out here all right there we go and we have the crown and there we go we got a jerry lawler um, I like it. Yeah, it's an older um, kind of Lawler. Now, mind you, Jerry Lawler, I think, still wrestles. So, like, what does... Con do we consider Jerry Lawler, uh, Jerry Lawler older now or back then? Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this is that kind of 94, 95 Jerry Lawler feuding with Bret Hart. Um, I like the cape. Even though it's kind of like this see-through soft goods thing, it's got a lot of cool little detail on it. Um, just kind of stretch that out a little bit, and there you go. That's a nice-looking cape. 
Um, similar boots. He kind of always had those um, no lace boots going. He's got the crown there. You got the little kind of royal symbols like all over him with the blue and the gold and the white. I, it's just it's a lot of good detail in this figure. Yes, the cape is removable. You can just untie it or probably pop the head off and slide it off if you wanted to. The crown. Um, so if we can get that to kind of focus here. There we go. Pretty standard. Um, it is different than some of the other crowns we've seen in the past, like with the King Harley race and the first Jerry Lawler. Um, so that's nice. Um, I'm glad they gave us like a different crown, uh, crown to match this figure. Um, beyond that, he's got the chest hair going. Jerry Lawler always had the chest hair. Um, we got the one white elbow pad, nothing over here. Uh, yeah, I mean, articulation, he stands well, he's good. Um, it's all there. Uh, interesting kind of note here, just a little maybe quality control thing. The inside of the ab joint here is blue, like the singlet, not the skin tone color. When it's loud like that, you don't really notice it, but it, if you're actually looking for it, you can kind of notice it. Um, not a big deal. Um, it's not noticeable when you're just posing them normally. Um, same as before, comes with the open hands. We have the closed fisted hands as his um, uh, focus here, alternate hands. There you go. Um, yeah, I like this figure. I like it a lot. I didn't have a Jerry Lawler before. I'm glad I have one now, so uh, it's pretty cool to just have. Um, yeah, is it a prime Jerry Lawler? No, but it's uh, a Jerry Lawler nonetheless that I'm glad to have um, until maybe they eventually release another like kind of 70s or 80s Lawler. Um, but uh, I like it. I like it. I think it's a cool figure. I think it would go good if you have uh, one of those mid-90s Bret Hart's kind of go in there with that, pose them, do some photography with them. I think it works out perfectly. So yeah, um, there's our Jerry Lawler and our Drew McIntyre for these videos. Uh, Drew McIntyre's got his coat there. Um, yeah, two really cool figures and kind of give you a good size comparison here of how McIntyre's taller. Um, so good scaling, but yeah, that's about it for this one. Um, uh, got some more WWE elites coming along the way. So, um, and a few ultimate editions actually too. So I'll catch you guys in one of those videos and thank you.